Oh, Soren? I can't stand by and watch. I'm a study. Your head's gonna be abandoning your body if you don't turn around and run! Jesse! They're falling behind! You! They're not gonna be able to outrun it! Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster! We're all gonna be caught in the tractor beam! We need transportation. Anyone seen a minecart? I think Axel still has one from the Nether, but it won't help. We need to lay down too much track. Then we'll have to use the next best thing. Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride. <laughs> Come on, horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked! Everyone follow me! Woohoo! Jesse, look out! <laughs> ah, this is awesome! Horses! Whatever you do, don't look back. Ah! I looked. Everyone, follow me. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Jesse, look out! Ah, this is awesome. Axel, stop backseat steering. I can't help it. I'm getting horse sick. It's gaining on us! No offense, but you could use a little practice. First time on a horse here! Watch it! You trying to knock me off this thing, Jesse? Sorry.
Uh, we made it. We actually freaking made it. Jesse, Gabriel was saying some pretty weird stuff back on that horse. He might have wither sickness. I don't know. You never acted the way he's been acting. I'll go talk to him. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm afraid I don't feel much like myself at the moment. Gabriel, it really is you! They told us you'd kicked it! Uh, who are you people? It's me, Magnus! Old friend, don't you recognize us? It's Soren. The Witherstorm did something to him. You mean that thing we just rode on? No, that was a horse. What a terrible turn of events. You! You're the one who rescued me! Tell me, please, what is going on? I remember only blackness. Up until a little while ago, we all thought that you were... you know... <gasps> it was dark and foul, and I was sure I was a goner. Well, you aren't. You made it back alive. Which is more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Ellie. For a second, I almost managed to forget. You guys talking about Eligard? I just can't believe she's gone. Doesn't feel real. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend. Guys, it was my fault. I'm the one who took Eligard's armor. But you couldn't have known what was going to happen. She's right. Don't blame yourself, kid. I, uh, never blame myself for anything. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. The Formidabomb just wasn't strong enough. I mean, it ripped the Witherstorm apart, but it didn't make a dent in the command block. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is! Oh, great! And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one weather storm to three! Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? Well, plan A didn't work. So the question is, what's plan B? Well, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? <sighs> I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket! I recognize it! Other people wearing that very same jacket when I was thrown from the monster! Ugh. It hurts just to think about. Hey, hey! It's okay! Jesse, if what Gabriel said is true... I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. Whoa. I suddenly feel really dizzy. Easy, easy. I gotcha. Gravel? No. Dirt? Don't think so. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead. But if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Some 
leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? You look terrible, Petra. Your skin is, like, almost gray. Hey, way to not sugarcoat it. I feel even worse than I look. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, uh, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it... This isn't all on you, and you know it. I was in on the deal, too. But I brought that skull back solo. I was Ivor's henchman. Well, I was your henchman. So, based on the transitive property of henchmen... Just know, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Soren. I said I needed some space, Jesse. Actually, you said you needed time to think. So, did you think of anything? Not really. I'll let you know if I do. I'm not gonna lie, man, but we've pulled through worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? He keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend. That right there is Magnus. Everyone knows Magnus. Magnus? Hmm. And how do I know him exactly? I sense we have a history, but... You guys defeated the Ender Dragon together, the most fearsome creature this land has ever seen. Really? It really! You're kind of a big deal. It isn't working. He doesn't remember. Talk to him about your past, something only you would know about. Like what? It's been so long since we've seen each other. Talk a little about Eligard. Eligard, yes. She was, uh, really something. Smart, funny... Amazing with Redstone. Heck, she was the one person among us who didn't even need the, uh, the... Didn't need the what? You know, never... Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly. Thank me by watching out for me and my friends. This fight isn't over yet. Very well. Now then, tell me more about this Eligard. Man, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> Sorry, Reuben. I don't really feel like company. <laughs> Reuben! Oh, just as you once helped us.
us before. This isn't about the past, it's about the future. There are three of those things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. I did that by locking the command block away. So only you could use it. Oh, do you still not realize how dangerous it is? Oh, the bitter irony. Soren the architect. I do not need lectures from you. That's debatable. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? What are you doing here, Ivor? Come to lock me in another room? I came to offer my help. Ha! He's been following us. It's not like that. You need to hear me out. What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No. I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Oh, don't be so dramatic. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers gaze passed over them, and they went wild. Soren, do you think Enderman could actually destroy one of those things? Well, it's not beyond imagination. If there were enough of them working together, it's a promising concept, at least in theory. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Ugh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes. Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. What kind of failsafe, exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? so quickly it just keeps coming for us well we can't stand around and wait for it guys i have a plan we're going to ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a ivor it is you good to see you too magnus hello my name is gabriel somebody pinch me Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. 
I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. Axel, thank you. Yeah, I haven't actually done it yet. Still, I'm so proud to call you my friend. Same here, Jesse. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The griefer grab? You got it. <laughs> I'll see you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first. there. end is profoundly sore. Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interest. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? 
my stomach. Let's look around, see what we could find out. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Saw some potatoes back there. A witch's hut. Yeah. We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake. That's that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any food? No, well, sort of, but it doesn't matter. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp. <laughs> She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. And skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Everyone, this could be a really nasty fight. The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off! What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall! The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion! Come on! I think we lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh. Wow. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. I'd rather be hungry than killed by a witch. I'd rather be eating dinner. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory. Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Incredible. You can say that again. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Ah, a little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor is hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if the rest of our group was with us. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I sense that entering this so-called maze would be a grave mistake? 
because some part of you still knows Ivor. Unfortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Can't fight them all! Guys, climb the vines! That worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. That must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. Safe to say, the Far Lands are strange. just gets weirder and weirder. Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me.
Olivia! Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. Any sign of the others? Not yet. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. We really need to figure out what happened to the others. I wonder if they found some other way across this gaping bottomless pit. I think it drops forever. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Can't be that complicated, not if it's something Ivor built. Half built. Which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. So prove her wrong. Show the world what you're made of. Prove her wrong? Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history doesn't remember his own name. All I ever see Magnus do is argue. And we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? You know what? We're better than them. Better than the Order? I don't know about that. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, for starters, we made it to the Far Lands. And we're stuck here. Yeah, but we could have been stuck anywhere else along the way. Instead, we fought and figured things out. And look how far we've come. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I 
think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. The sooner the better. A redstone block. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. It must be this way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. I remember something. Didn't Eligard build a machine like this once? Yes, in the nether. <clears throat> and you were terrified of flying on it. What? Stuff and nonsense. <laughs> I'm afraid of flying too, Soren. R really? Ah. No, not really. Just wanted to see if you'd bite. That was exciting. Uh, by exciting, I assume you mean absurd and unnecessary. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Well, it's a good thing I still have one from, like, ages ago. made for it. Let's see what this sucker does. A secret passageway. Hmm. Why would you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are 
Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there. We'll head down and see what we can find. Whoa. What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Uh, the stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. I think those are gas tears. These gas tears, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item. We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. So where'd this packed ice come from? We brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery! Now that's pretty bright. Am I crazy or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind! Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Huh. Five slots. Gassed tears. Let's try the prismarine crystals. Into the hopper. Sea Lantern, in you go. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Yes! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. If I know anything, it's how much Ivor loves puzzles. Indeed he does. Nice work, Jesse. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. way out. Hmm, interesting. 
interesting. Thing supposed to be it appears to be an homage to our battle with the ender dragon despite his anger ivor never stopped being fond of us <laughs> we're missing something here soren and i have a feeling the key might be locked in that head of yours i have a key locked in my head what i'm saying is i think you need to tell me about the ender dragon battle oh ha huh. if only you'd been there it was a fight for the ages We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, the Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus' TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. That was absolutely amazing. They didn't call us the Order of the Stone for nothing. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? No, it, it can't be. Not here. Not after all this time. But those things were destroyed in your big heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore. Soren, how did these get here? I mean, you can't just move Ender Crystals, right? Jesse, this isn't. This isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, I want the truth and I want it now. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. We didn't even try. Sorry, just spit it out. What happened? You want the truth? We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. 
but with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more! The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated the dragon. Why would you do that? You, you lied, even to your closest friends. All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor, how long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing. So we're liars. All of us. You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts, doesn't it? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because... They all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard. They agreed to keep this a secret. How conniving of us. And you, you agreed to stay quiet too, in exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson! To show you who the Order really are! Liars! Cowards! And now, they know! You know, I kinda regret punching you right now. Yes, well, you weren't the first. No one ever seems to appreciate my good intentions! Might have something to do with the casual way in which you've unleashed Armageddon? Look, my wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. For a moment, I nearly forgot. Right now, my friends are out there, facing that monster you created. So however we got here, we need to move on. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us was the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. This thing better work, because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor, I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well, it doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! So, I can craft whatever I want, huh? Anything at all. Awesome! I've never owned a diamond weapon! Just wait till you enchant it! Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold! My enchanted diamond sword! Yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the Order. They're about as strong as it comes. Even able to withstand TNT! Any preference? All right, let me take a look at him. It's all quite durable and sturdy. Ah, oh, Dragon's Bane. 
Even the Ender Dragon would have fled from this in terror. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. Or a fortress. I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things by now? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Axel, the cavalry has arrived. Or is it the cavalry have arrived? Eh, whatever. The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, blast! They've kept the main weather storm busy, but one of the smaller ones started attacking us. And Magnus ran off to fight that thing, all by himself. He's fighting a weather storm? Alone? Yep, kept saying something about paying for the mistakes of the past, whatever that means. If a fellow member of the Order of the... of the, uh... Order of the Stone? ...is out there fighting, then I belong out there too. Gabriel, no, no, I told you you're not who you think you are. My name is Gabriel the Warrior. And he's running the wrong way. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not letting that idiot get himself killed! Gabriel! Come back here! <sighs> Without the command block, none of them stands a chance. Say what now? Why do they need the command block? I'll explain later. Fine. Hey, uh, you guys didn't check on Petra, did you? No, we came straight here. All alone in that cave? I hope she's alright. She will be as long as we destroy the command block. So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... We need to find a way for me to use this. Whoa. That is, without question, the coolest thing I have ever, ever seen. Oh, and I brought you some armor, Axel. Here. Nice! I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. see the command block? We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm! How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you. Soren! Did Soren just run away? Soren, what are you doing? Dude, what a chicken. So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. Doesn't matter. We have work to do. 
We need to get those Endermen to attack it. The tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam. How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? Yes, they're falling for it! Yeah, I found him near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this. Uh-oh. No! 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 Come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? <laughs> nice one, Ruben. Need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters, some wool, some leftover slime. Oh, and I still have that minecart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean, if we use the TNT on, say, the minecart. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch it off the ramp like a rocket. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Ah! Axel! I got you! Lucas! You're here! Ocelots, distract that wither storm! Hey you! Get a load of this! <laughs> Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing! Done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on. And Jesse, I know you can do this. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Ah! Ah! No! 
Lubin. You shouldn't have surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Oh, I recognize these people. No, 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 no! Ruben, 
I need your help! Remember how we used to play fetch? Oh, that's it, that's it! Come on, Ruben, I believe in you! Ah! Jump, I'll catch you! You did it! I knew I could count on you! Time to put an end to this thing once and for all. Ruben! Hold on, buddy! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... Reuben, where's Reuben? I thought he was with you. You did it, Jesse! You actually did it! Hey, do you guys hear something? Reuben! No. Reuben. You're gonna be fine, you hear me? Come on, Reuben, say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Having my memory restored has been both a blessing and a curse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Don't tell them, Gabriel. Just let them have their legend. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. 
Which is why... We may have defeated the Ender Dragon, but that is nothing compared to what these heroes did. They took down a Witherstorm! They are a new generation of heroes! Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is, I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. It was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They believed in me right from the start. I mean, they also set me straight when my head was getting too big, but that's because they're good like that. Yeah, they really are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a treehouse, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. I mean, come on, we went to the Far Lands. There was this gigantic wall and a huge maze and a model of the Ender Dragon that... Well, you just had to be there. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? Finishing what we set out to do. Because there's no way we were going to let a world this cool get torn apart. We did it! Jesse, this is the Nether Star that dropped when the Wither Storm was destroyed. You want to do the honors? Oh man, this is going to be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone! And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved, and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one.